Alex, first of all, welcome to Cardiff City. How does it feel to have joined the football club? Thank you. Yeah, I'm very happy. I'm very pleased to finally get it over the line. It took some time, but yeah, I'm very happy to be here and get started. How did the move first come about and when did you first hear of the interest from Cardiff City? Well, I heard about it from my agent. The club had made contact and, and that they were interested in signing me. And, and um, yeah, I know it's a big club and a and big club in Wales. I spoke to Gunners um, about, about it and the first thing that he said was, yeah, go. I loved it there, so only positives um, that I heard about the club and, and obviously it helps to get get some input from a person who, who knows the club, who knows the city, who knows the, knows everything about about this place. Um, so he helped me and my family to make the decision, but at the end of the day it's, it's my decision um, and my family's decision to, to, to come here and, and yeah, I'm just very happy. You've been around Cardiff City Stadium for the first time today. What are your first impressions of the club? Uh, very nice. It's a nice stadium. Like, you can feel the atmosphere is going to be good here and, and um, yeah, can't wait to, to play here. <laughs> what conversations have you had with the new manager, Errol Bullet here before joining and, and since joining? Yeah, about the playing style, about what he wants from me, what he wants for the team, how he sees me and my role uh, within the team, and, and he saw me play in Turkey from uh, last year when he was there and when I was there. So, so it's good that I'm, I'm coming to play for a manager who knows me, knows my qualities, knows my flaws. Um, I think I think it's going to be a very good, a very good cooperation. And looking forward, how do you feel that you can add to this squad at Cardiff City? Well, hopefully, I can I can help. In, in all ways uh, possible. I think I, I'll bring some some international experience. I played in different countries. I played for my country, and, and um, yeah, I, th I think mainly that's what I can bring. That I've got good experience, uh, even though I'm young. I, I've, like I said, I played played all over. Good with the ball on my feet. Um, good on the line. So I, I hope in general to to lift the quality um, of all the team and and, and put pressure on on. Yeah, the players that I'm going to be training with and, and playing with on the weekends. You spoke about playing out in on, in Turkey on loan last season. How did you find that experience? It was very good. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. It was different from what I've been used to, in, in especially growing up in, in in Iceland. Being from Iceland, it's a very different culture. But it was yeah, it opened my mind a little bit on, on like seeing how people can live in different ways, and it was a really enjoyable enjoyable year. Obviously it was hard when the earthquake hit in February. Um, that changed yeah, the environment a little bit. The people were affected by it and, and everybody was. Um, so around that time things became a little bit more complicated but in general it was a very good year, a very good season for me. Turkish football, I think everybody knows it. It's, it's passionate so it was, uh, yeah, it was good. It's good. I'm happy with, with the year I spent there. Do you feel that that loan spell has developed you not just as a football player but as a person as well? Yeah, for sure, for sure. I think that's important to not only develop as a as a football player, but you need to grow as a person as well. And, and that's helped me massively, massively this year in, in Turkey. You spoke about your international experience with Iceland. What did, what have you learned from playing for the, for the national team? I've learned to play in a different way than, than I've been used to playing for my, for my clubs because obviously I'm, I'm maybe not the typical goalkeeper you would see in, in the Icelandic goal. Um, we've been known to defend well and, and defend in low block, whereas I've played for clubs who like to have the ball and, and use my strengths in build-up, so I've learned how to, how to push those qualities a little bit to, to the side to be able to just be a classic goalkeeper, so to say, but um, I think mainly to learn to play in, in different ways. I've, I've had Norwegian managers, Swedish managers, Icelandic managers, uh, so it's it's yeah, it's been it's been good, good experience. Now, in your career, in particular, do you feel that you've experienced football in terms of your position as a goalkeeper, modernising and goalkeepers needing to have more certain skills? I'm not so sure if it's it. For me, has changed so much because I start off in Denmark for a club that plays this way, like with the ball in the feet, and, and that's what I've done since yeah, since 2013-14. 
when I first move away from Iceland and, and this is the only way that I've played. So I wouldn't say it's modernized for me, but probably for other players who who have had to change from being the classic goalkeeper where you're just making saves to being able to do a bit of both. And I've certainly seen the development, but, but like I said, for me, it hasn't changed too much. And just looking ahead now, how excited are you to put on that Cardiff City shirt for the first time and play in front of the Cardiff City fans? Really, really excited. Like I said, I've seen the stadium. I can feel the atmosphere in the air, so I'm looking forward to playing with fans because when I signed for, for Arsenal, Back in 2020 there was Covid so I, I didn't experience English football stadiums with fans so looking forward to live the atmosphere in, in, uh, in the British, British manner. And during your time here with the, the Bluebirds, what are your aims both individually and as a squad? My aims individually are to play um, as much as I can and to help the team as much as I can, push the other goalkeepers um, to perform better and as a team I think we should be aiming for yeah going as high as possible. I mean, this is a club that should be higher up, I think, in, in, in English football, so I think that's got to be the ambition. Congratulations and welcome to the club. Thank you so much.